I hope you're all doing really well today. In today's video, I wanted to share with you some of the fragrances that left my collection. It's springtime or starting to feel like spring and I wanted to do basically a good old fashioned spring cleaning and that included some of my fragrances. I just can't use them all or the ones that are just sitting on the shelf, like I just feel so guilty that they're just sitting there. So I want to give them a new home. So the first one here is actually by Ralph Lauren. Some I have the bottles for and some I will just put pictures up on the screen because I had already sold them. So the first one here is, it's by Ralph Lauren, it's Beyond Romance. This one here actually was a newer release and I felt so, I wanted to jump on that fragrance so fast because you guys know I love the Ralph Lauren Tender Romance. Well, lo and behold, this one really doesn't smell anything like Tender Romance, um, as if I needed another bottle that smelled like something else I already have. See, that's my problem, and I accumulate all these fragrances, and I don't need five to 10 bottles that smell like each other. I just don't. So anyway, side note, but this one here actually, to me, this one smelled really nothing like I wanted. It was a nice scent, but it was, kind of fruity it had a little bit it had some raspberry in the opening and it just kind of dried down to like a very nice smelling raspberry vanilla musky scent and it wasn't very strong and i didn't find that it lasted very long on me so for to me to even keep that in my collection it just it wasn't happening because if i had between the ralph lauren beyond romance or the tender romance i definitely would pick the tender romance so that one went bye bye Okay, the next one here is, I was so disappointed in this fragrance. So, I actually bought Mansara Roses Greedy. And I guess I had just different expectations of it. And when I got it, it really was just too floral for me. I think it would smell really nice on someone that likes florals, but it was roses, obviously, but it had a lot of like other florals in there and it had some muskiness but it, I just felt like it wasn't me. When I sprayed it on, I just didn't feel like we mixed very well. It was just a very, me and the fragrance just didn't vibe on a level that I thought we would. I had bought originally the Roses Greedy Oil Perfumery Perfume Oil, and I liked the way the oil smelled. I was like, oh, if I like the way the oil smells, I'm certain I will like the spray. And that just goes to show you that everything, it's not 100% exact, I mean, I actually preferred the oil. And when I got the spray, I was just so dis disappointed because I was expecting it to smell like the oil that I liked and it just did not. So that one went to a better home and I think if you really like f like florals and feminine scents, that one's a really, really nice one and it is long lasting, but it just wasn't for me. Okay, the next one here is one that I really, really liked, but I think as I wore it and I obsessively wore it, I just kind of was, I just got tired of it. And that is by Ely Saab, and that is Girl of Now. That one is such a nice, sweet pistachio. It's kind of a little bit on the fruity side as well. But to me, for some reason, I don't know what happened, but after I used that one for a while, the patchouli in that one just would take over. I don't know why. Sometimes that happens. I think it's just your nose evolves or changes. And I, it was something that I didn't really detect too heavily when I first wore I wore like half the bottle and then I sprayed it on a few times and that's all I smelled was patchouli, which I do enjoy, but it was a, it's a certain type of patchouli that to me gets really musky and musty on my skin. And I'm just, I just wasn't feeling that one. So, um, I did get a good wear out of it and I really love it and I think it's a great fragrance. It's just one that I probably didn't need a really big bottle of. If I got like a one ounce, I would have finished the bottle and been done with it. But I got a big bottle and I had half of it was still remaining, so I just I just let that one go in my collection. This one here, I really love the fragrance. It's by Prada and it's Infusion de Iris Amande. I love that fragrance because as you know, I love Infusion de Iris, the original. The thing with those two fragrances, they smell very similar. There is a almond, like a bitter almond note in the Amande one that you can detect, but it's not very strong. And I find, I found myself picking up the original over the Amande. So I had a full size, I have actually a 6.7 ounce of the original and that 
Amande um, Infusion Diamande was it's, it was a full size bottle and it was just sitting there because I was picking up the original over that one because they smelled very similar. I just found that I just didn't need both of them in my collection and I really liked the original so I wanted to keep that one and I passed the other one along. Okay, the next thing are actually all from the same brand. Actually, are there three? One, two, no, there's more than that, there's four. I went on a Diptyque buying spree and I just kept buying them, blind buying them, and honestly, they're amazing fragrances, but I just, some of them just don't work on me. The first one I got rid of was Diptyque Volutes. I really think that one is a nice kind of woody, slightly tobacco, a little bit, it's kind of dry, but if you, I have so many of those fragrances that I just didn't reach for this one, and it was almost a little too dry for me. It didn't, I mean, it had a lot of spice in there, but I have a, a other woodier fragrances and those tobacco type of fragrances, I re, I was reaching more. So um, I let that one go. Another Diptyque one that I let go was Tam Dao. I had the Eau de Toilette version. That one also was a nice, kind of nice woody sandalwood scent. It was, there was nothing wrong with it. I just think that Again, I just was accumulating so many woody fragrances that I had to let some of them go. And that one, Lasting Power was not the best on me, I think because I had the EDT. Um, but I think if you're looking for a nice kind of crisp, slightly airy sandalwood fragrance, this was nice. It's, it's, it also had a lot of cedar in it, which I liked, but I think I was looking, when I went and bought that one, I was looking for like a heavier, just sandalwood fragrance. And I feel like that one, had on my skin a lot of cedar came out, which I liked, but I just I just wasn't reaching for it. So there was that one. The other one, and I still have this one in my collection, um, is La Ombre Dans L'Eau, and this is the Eau de Parfum. This one, the problem, it was really not a problem. This is a really nice fragrance, but I think to me it smells too green. I sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. And I feel like if I have, if it's too fussy, if a fragrance is too fussy or if I find that I'm being too fussy with it, it probably isn't a good fit because um, I find if sometimes when I wear this one, it kind of can turn my stomach. It smells very much like a garden, like a tomato leaf. It smells like the veg, like the veg vegetables. It smells like the kind of a little bit of the moss it's very green it's very but it smells spring like in a way that it's it's very um it also has i think black currant in here too but to me it smells a lot of the the greenness of the black currant or something that it's not ripe yet or it's just the fruit coming out of it's just budding so it hasn't had a chance to ripen because this isn't a very sweet fragrance but that is it is a nice fragrance and i think that there's a lot of people really enjoy this one but it just isn't for me so that is diptyque's la ombre dans l'eau this one here is another one that i'm sad that it just is not working on me and i don't know what's happening when i spray it on but it gets too it gets musty i don't understand why 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 do you get musty but it does on me it does and this was another diptyque and this is the 34 boulevard saint germain this is the let me just see i think this is the eau de parfum no. This actually is the Eau de Toilette. They have an Eau de Parfum, which is in a darker bottle, but I have the Eau de Toilette. Something about this fragrance, it's, this is just basically, it's supposed to smell like the Diptyque store, like all the fragrances kind of mixed into one, and it smells like basically a boutique, and it does. And I find this one maybe will lean a little bit more masculine, or people may find this is a little bit more masculine. It's quite spicy. Um, it has some woodiness to it. But for something in here, when I spray it on and wear it, I like it when I originally first spray it, but as it wears, it gets really musty. Like it's almost like I felt like, like it's almost smells like I haven't like showered and I'm getting like a musty scent and I am just not into, into that. And I'm sad because I like the opening of it and it smells nice, but I, it just turns so fast. So that is another one that I'm, I'm gonna just kind of say bye bye to, but I think if you're enjoying those fragrances that are kind of, this is also very like, I feel like a nondescript fragrance. It has just, it is just a mix of everything kind of com combined into one, but I do find it to be quite woody. I find it to be spicy. This is a nice also, I think a lot of men might like to wear this one, but on me, 
personally, it goes sour fast and I don't know why, but it does. Okay, this next one here, I really wanted to work on me because I, I like, I am obsessed with the bottle for some reason. It's just so eye-catching to me. And this is Prada, and this is La Femme Absolue. Cause like, look at the back. I don't know what it is. It's just so geometric and, and just so cool looking. Anyway, it's like kind of art deco. But anyway, I mean, that's the problem. I was obsessed with the bottle and, and the fragrance just doesn't work out for me. This one to me, um, there are florals in here. I think it's it smells, it has like a tuberose set in here, but there is some sort of spice and maybe it's the spice, but to me, I'm gonna be honest what it smells like to me. It's weird and I wish I didn't like kind of make the connection between the two, but it smells like a carpet cleaner powder. You, you remember when you used to put the powder on your carpets and then vacuum it up? It smells like that to me and I, I really wish it didn't do that. And I don't think anybody else makes that connection and thank goodness because who wants that? But every time I smell it, it must have, be, it must have been one that we, I used to, or my, my parents used when we were younger, but it smells like a carpet cleaner powder and it's like when I spray it on, it's like I don't really wanna smell like a carpet cleaner powder so I never wanna pick it up. But it is a beautiful one if you don't have that connection to it. But that is Prada la femme absolute in the bottles and this is a super heavy bottle the cap is heavy it's well made and i wish i liked it but I, I can't get on with it okay this last one here is one that i really wanted to love and like i would try it and try it but something in it is just not connecting with my chemistry or something but this is by la artisan parfums and this is premier figure extreme so there's this one here. I have tried to like this one because this one here is a fig centered fragrance and I love fig fragrances. This one is very much more of the um, whole fig tree. It's got like more of a greenness to it. It has, it's not very sweet. It's kind of like an unripened fig. It's a little bit milky from like that fig milk, but it's not super, it's not sweet. Um, it's got a little, it's like I said, it's almost like an unripe fig, but there is something in here that when I spray it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't connect to my, to my skin. It kind of comes off a little, again, like musky, but musty, not musky, musty. And then I don't like the way it dries down on me. So I tend to not want to wear it because as the fig kind of fades and, you know, all that, it just kind of becomes this powdery, musty scent on my skin and it makes me sad because I really want to enjoy this one and it just doesn't work on me and I wish it did. But I know this is a love for a lot of people and it's a beautiful fragrance, but um, I think that's why it's so important to try things before you blind buy them because even when you initially spray something, I think you might think you like it, but as you wear it and get to know it, it may not work out because originally when I first bought this, I thought I really liked it and I just, it just doesn't work on my skin. So yeah. Hey guys, those are the fragrances that I kind of wanted to push along or move along to somebody else that would really get wear out of them and enjoy them because I hate to have these things just sit around and collect dust and not get used because they're meant to be used. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I have a lot of these too, if you guys are interested. Some of these are on my Macari page and some I had already sold, but I do have some still available um, on my Macari page if you're interested in any of them and or if you like, or some of these might be your favorites. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.